Hey everybody, welcome back to Bootsy on the Beat. I'm Bootsy. Happy Sunday. The hater hotline is open. 1-800-BOOTSY-ON-THE-BEAT. Call in. We want to hear what you're hating on. How about the Bengals? Oh my gosh. For real? Congratulations to them, man. It's been a long time. What a... The, a Man, the last two weekends with the games, they've been good games. And I feel bad for Mahomes, but he's young and, and uh, he'll get his again. So anyways, I, I'm just um, really glad that Cincinnati's going to the Super Bowl. Um, have you heard the news about uh, Tom Brady? Yeah, I almost forgot what his name was because I, I don't think about him at all. Yeah, I, I think I think uh, I heard that he was retiring or something. Anyways, but so um, I'm I'm anxious to see what's gonna go on. Who's it gonna be? Um, and for that halftime show, the phone's ringing. Hater hotline. Who you hating on? Really? What? No, I don't think about you. I don't think about you. <sighs> Stop crying. Okay, I, I, I'm sorry. I'm not going to be so mean. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm sorry. Congratulations on, 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 on your career. You had a great career. Don't cry. I did not make your team lose. I do not do witchcraft. Just because I follow her does not mean that I do that. I, look, don't cry. You have all, think, you got all this time to, to watch the YouTubers that you like because obviously it sounds like you watch a lot of them. You're going for the Bengals too? That, that's good. Okay, well, can you just not call here anymore? Cause like I said, we're not gonna be friends. I, I got to hang up. I, I can't listen to you cry now. I, I don't like to hear anybody cry. Yeah, 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 I gotta go, I gotta go, bye. I hate to listen to somebody crying on the phone. You can't even understand what they're saying because they're like, <laughs> nah, I'm not doing that. Anyways, I went to Winn-Dixie today and I found some things that I wanted to show you. Um, I'm trying to do low carb. I had to really stop keto because I got fussed at by my doctor for my cholesterol being too high. So, I did find some neat things. One thing that I found that is good for low carb in keto is this the Baybell cheese plus vitamin A and B12. Can you believe that? And two of these were five bucks, so I got two of them. Now, the other little one that comes in the mesh um, bag was. 250, I think, or 249. Um, and it had just as many. This has, I forget how many it says is in here, but there's quite, a, I, I can feel quite a, a bit. It's probably the same as the bag. And you know what? They're the same size, too. Same size. So, it says that. Vitamin B12 has been shown to support the body in converting food into energy. But it doesn't have a lot. It doesn't even have one point. It has 0.36 micrograms. I guess that's what it is. It's MCG micrograms. Or, yeah, micrograms. Anyways, and then how much could that possibly be? I might be wrong. Let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. I'm sure you will. All you haters out there. Okay. And vitamin A has been, that's in here has been shown to help support eye health. And it has 
100 micrograms of vitamin A. I'm trying to think what MCG is. Let's ask Alexa. She's been cutting up today. I've asked her some things three times. I've said her name and she's like, there's a problem. There's a problem. And then I went and looked at it and to see if my uh, Wi-Fi was messed up and my Wi-Fi is fine. So Alexa, are you feeling better? I'm good. Spoiler alert. It's Sunday, which means tomorrow is Monday. Yep. You heard it here first. She got jokes. Okay. Alexa. Sorry. I'm having trouble understanding right now. See that? Please try a little later. I, I, I think she's mad at me. I do, because she's been cutting up and there's no reason for her to. But anyways, whatever MCG stands for, it's got 100%. So, I was going to look at the um, label of the regular Baybell to see how much vitamin A it had, if it had any in there. Um... Probably not, but you never know. Sometimes they do stuff like this to make it a big deal, and it's really not that different from the other product. So anyways, and I, I've had one already, and they're good. And then, I these products might be um, not new to you, but they are to me. I found this. Keto Friendly Yogurt. And it's strawberry. It has 15 grams of fat, 2 grams of carbs, 15 grams of protein, and 1 gram of sugar. It's by Ratio. It says Ratio Keto Friendly. Now, I like to get the too good. Um, it could be a little bit more tastier, but, you know, it's okay. It doesn't have as many calories as this one. I think the too good has... 80 calories maybe, maybe a hundred, I'm not sure, and has two grams of carbs. This has 200 calories. So you think it tastes better? I bet it does. And two um, grams of carbs and one gram of sugar, no added sugars. So I thought that was pretty cool. They had strawberry, which was the cheapest, they had vanilla, which was like 10 cents more, and then they had mixed berry, which was 20 cents more. This was $1.49. Okay, then I found these new Lean Cuisines. This one is, uh, it's a cauliflower bowl with fettuccine and fettuccine with meat sauce. Freshly made fettuccine pasta with seasoned meat sauce. It's 200 cal 260 calories, excuse me. 11 grams of protein, 9 grams of fiber. Made carb conscious. Total grams of sugar is 6. And it has a little chart here on the back. And it says total carbs minus fiber is 35 grams of carbs minus 9 grams which is a total of 29 grams of fiber, excuse me, which is a total of 26 grams of net carbs, which really isn't too bad, especially if it, if it tastes good and it kind of, I, I don't know. I love pasta. That is my weakness. Pasta and bread and rice and steak and ice cream and chocolate. <laughs> chocolate. I can go on and on. But, um... 26 grams is not too bad if you're just trying to do low carb, not keto. So, that one. And then, oh, the phone's ringing. Hater hotline, who are you hating on? You're hating on me? Alex, why are you hating on me? I do too much. Oh, you're on strike? All I did was try to ask you what the weather was. I need to give you a break. I don't even know what to say to you. I'm hanging up. Can you believe
believe she called me on the hater hotline being a hater? I own her. Well, I don't own her, but I own how she, I own my unit. I don't bother her that much. She said I do too much. Hmm. She's in her feelings. Okay, now we've got this cauliflower mac and cheese. All right, it says creamy mac and cheese, freshly made elbow pasta in a creamy cheddar cheese sauce. You know it's elbow pasta made from cauliflower. 260 calories, 14 grams of protein, and 15 grams of fiber. Okay, and so the total carbs is 37 grams. The fiber is 15 grams, so when you um, subtract the fiber, you get 22 grams of net carbs. So, and let's see for the people with, um, that want to know about the sugar. It's 7 grams of sugar and no added sugar. 20 milligrams of cholesterol. So, I'm anxious to try these, and I will let you know how they were. And let me tell you about the sugar on here. This has um, six grams of sugar, no added sugar, and 65 grams, milligrams of carbs. So, yeah. So that's what my little mini haul was at um, the Winn-Dixie. We got the Winn-Dixie and the Piggly Wiggly down here. So I wanted to ask the eight ball, magic eight ball, are the Bengals going to go all the way and win the Super Bowl? It is certain. If the Bengals win the Super Bowl, this, this magic eight ball has the power. Remember that song? I got the power. I shouldn't have done that because it's going to be in my head all night. I'm going to walk around singing to Oscar. I got the power. Anyways, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Everybody have a good rest of your weekend. Not much more of it left. Bye.